So Vim is basically called as visual modify. Visual modify, right? It is actually the successor of Vim. Earlier we had Vim, sorry, VI, and now we have Vim, right? So obviously there are some features added in the in the VI, then the new software has been created called Vim, right? Visual modify. So we are going to learn how to use this editor and work on the different files, how we can uh, copy, paste inside, like, like whatever you did in the notepad, selecting the file, selecting the lines, copy, then paste it somewhere, um, search and replace in your file. So similar thing we are going to do here. Only the thing is we are going to do with the CLI, right? Okay. <clears throat> so let me take some file first of all okay i have this file anaconda-ks.cfg right i will also give you lab right so we will use this file but do not make direct modification in this file we already learned about the copy and all these things so make a copy of this file then uh, do the modification in the copied file not in the original file this original file is like if there is no any significance of this file it, uh, means if you modify this file there will, uh, it will not going to impact anything in the machine but it is very helpful when we will learn about the kick start right that's why i want to pr protect this file otherwise there is no any impact on the system performance or system issue or anything of this file right this anaconda if you remember uh, when we when we were doing installation so i told you Regarding the Anaconda, Anaconda is what it is the installer of your Linux, right? So whatever whatever options you have followed while installing your Linux machine, so everything has been recorded there. So if I open with the cat command, so you can see RL9 graphical version we have installed there. This is what the address by from where the package has been taken. So if you remember, this is this was our look uh, CD room, right? Then then we we enabled the kdump, so it is saying that kdump is enabled. We selected the US for the keyboard, huh? language for the US, huh? uh, network network uh, name, then the host name we we provided there, right? Uh, and then then different if uh, then the, the other partitions which we created while installing our operating system, right? So it actually record all the things which we did, right? Time time zone password. So these everything it uh, and the package in the graphical server environment. Right, so whatever we perform during the installation, it has been recorded here. Right, but once the installation will be done, again I'm telling you, this file do not have any significance. Uh, by mistake, if it will remove, it will not going to impact anything in your system. Your system is not going to down. Everything will work fine. Only the thing why I am protecting this file, just because in future when we will learn about the kick start, like automated way of installation. At that point of time, we need some of the options from these files. We will refer this file to get some of the options. That is only the purpose I'm saying you to prevent or protect this file or do not make direct modification inside this file. Okay, that is what the reason. So what I'm going to do, I am going to copy this file, this Anaconda file, and we'll paste it in OPT folder and we'll put it the name test demo files dot txt something like this right you can copy uh means you can rename this file with any name just keep this file as it is in the original location okay now i'm going to move into opt folder i have test hyphen demo dot txt file which we just copied from the anaconda file okay now how to use the editors so editors, I told you like Emac, Emac, if I will type Emac, so you can say it's saying that command not found. So what does it mean? Command not found, command not found means the package, the software which provides this Emac editor is not installed in my system. Totally fine. We learn later on how to install the package. Right now it's not installed. It's totally fine. The another one is nano. Nano. Nano is other, again the editor which will be used to edit your files. Nano and the file name. So I will put the name of the file test-demo.txt. So once I will open that, so you can see at the bottom, it will tell you like what are the options we can use for which purpose, right? When I will scroll it down with the help of arrow button here and there where we want to move. And if you want to modify anything, okay, I will say um, modify 
modifying this file, something called like this, right? And if you are okay with this, then you have this write out option to save this. So I can press control O, control O. So it's asking us this file name is going to save with the same name. Do you want okay with this? So I'll press enter. If I need another name, so I can modify this. I will press enter. So it has been saved. Right. Now, if I want to come back, so here are the options for exit control X. So I can press control X. Come on. All right, so that is what that is what the nano will do. It will open your file in interactive mode, and here in the below, it will gives us the different options how what options we can use for which purpose, right? So that is another editor which we can use. Vim editor. So there is a command called Vim Tutor. Vim Tutor. When you press enter with Vim Tutor, it will give you the help for Vim Tutor. How to move here your uh, arrow button so you can use uh, right left up up and down arrow button to move your cursor in in the vim file right then then how to exit the vm so it's saying that press colon key and then enter you will exit exit from your file right and how you can again come back to the vim editor so you need to press vim vim tutor again and press enter right and uh, then text editing, how you will edit the file in the in the Vim. So move the cursor to the line below where you want to like uh, delete or edit the thing. Then press X button to delete the unwanted character or press I button to insert it. Right, insertion, sorry. Here the insertion. Here it was it was delete. How to delete this? So take your cursor and press X button, it will delete the delete the letters. Insert, you can move your cursor and press I, I button to insert it. Right. So you can refer to this Vim Tutor for more help, right? How I can exit from this Vim Tutor? So I will press colon and Q and press enter. I will come out from there. Right. Now, same thing I'm going to perform in test-demo.txt. So how I will open that file? Vim space test-demo.txt. So when I will open this file, see, when you will open this file, actually Vim has different mode, right? So first of all, the when you open the editor, it is called as the command mode. What we can say? Command mode. It is here the command mode. We cannot modify, we cannot edit anything there. If I want to um, replace this generated with something, so I will type, uh, see, I cannot type anything, right? Why? Because it is your command mode. When you press I, I for insert, you can see at the bottom, it is insert mode now, insert mode, right? Insert mode means what? Now I can edit the files, I can modify the files, I can write anything inside this file. Right. So if I will type here, okay, now, okay, now I am in inserted, inserted mode. Right. I have, I write this content here. Correct. And so when, whenever we need to modify anything, we just need to press I button that will take us into the insert mode. And then after we can modify anything or edit anything inside the file. Once we are done, once we are done, again, we need to go back to the command mode. And how you will go back to the command mode? Uh, to go, to go back in command mode. What we have? ESC, ESC button. I will press escape button. See, insert word has gone from there. Means now we are in command mode. Right. So insert mode and the command mode. default mode is command mode. When we open the file, we always will, will be in the command mode. When we want to modify something, we can press I button. Right. So not only I, uh, not only I, we can press O button as well. O, O what it will do? O will insert, uh, means we will back into the insert mode, but in the next line. See the difference, see the difference. When I, I, my cursor is here and I press I, so I will be there, but, but my cursor will be remains at the same point. And now I, I will be in the insert mode. 
if I will press O, so my I will be in the insert mode, but my cursor will be moved into next line, right? So that is what the difference between if I will press A, A for the insert mode. So again, I will insert mode, but my arrow, but my cursor uh, move on to one uh, after one character. So there are different uh, different keywords to come into the insert mode. Right, you can use any of the any of the more uh, like uh, keyword to come into the insert mode. Only the thing, while you gradually walk in this VM editor, so you will be very familiar when I need to use I, when I need to use O, A. So then after you will get the uh, like understand when I can use all these words. Right. So one is called insert mode. Insert mode. I have I option. Then O means insert. Plus next line, right? Then we have uh, 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 a that is insert insert plus next word, right? Like this. Okay, and to go back to the ex execute um, sorry command mode, command mode, which is your default mode. I need to press escape button. I will be back into the escape button. Okay. Now what I can do in the command mode? What I can do in the command mode? So we, if you want to copy any lines, paste any lines, right? Navigate means if you want to navigate any, uh, anywhere in the, in your file. So we can navigate in the, in the command mode. See, I can. Uh, uh, press arrow button up and down, left and right, right to navigate the navigate the key. Now, if I want to copy something, so let's suppose I want to copy this line. How I can copy this? I will I will keep my cursor in this line and will press Y Y Y Y double Y double Y. That means yank. What is it called? Yank. Y Y. It's yank. It will be used to. Copy one line, y y, right? And for paste p, p for paste. So if I will, I will go somewhere and I will press p, so it will paste it. But remember, we need to be in command mode, not in insert mode. If I will be in insert mode and press y y, so it will type there. See, it is going to type there. So we do not need to be in insert mode. We need to be in command mode. Uh, press the skip button. You will be in command mode. Move your cursor on which line you want to copy and then press Y, Y. Two time Y, right? And then P, P for paste. P multiple time paste. You can P, uh, to paste it. Right? If you want to copy five line. So take your cursor at that line and then press five Y, Y. See? At the bottom, you can see five line yanked. Means now these one, two, three, four, five. These five lines has been yanked. Means copied. And for paste, we need to press on P for only one time. P. It's has been pasted there. Right. So if you want to copy number of lines, so we need to press like five Y Y. Means copy multiple or and number of lines and number of lines. Okay. complete file copy Complete means complete file we copy ho jayega. We need to go on the top of the file and press Y shift G. So complete file to वैसे भी copy ho jayegi CP se. Uh, that's totally fine. Means content copy karna hai, so we can do. Uh, go to top of file. Go to top of file. How? SHIP shift plus G. Then press Y plus and then shift plus G. Y shift plus. That is what to copy whole file. See, 64 line yank. Okay. And to paste, if you want to go at the bottom, to go bottom of file, I will use shift G, shift G only. Shift G. Shift G and paste it and P. See if I will paste it. So again, all the lines have been pasted there. Right? Okay. Just a minute. To go on the top, not Shift G, G G. G G. 
right? So copy, right? Similarly, if you want to delete, same thing, just replace the Y with D. Just replace the Y with D. To delete, we have DD for one line, huh? one line, five DD for multiple lines, similar. Huh? Just, just the thing we will replace Y with D. If I want to delete all the lines, so I will, I will come to the top of the file, GG, top of the file, D shift to G. All the lines have been deleted. Right. Undo to undo. We can use U, U, U for undo, U for undo, right? To redo, C, T, R, L, control plus R to redo, right? If I will press control R, again, it will redo, U for undo, press U, 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 it will go and keep undoing that. Means till the time we have not saved it, we can undo that file. Control R for redo, see? Redo. Redo. So U for undo and control R for redo. Right. These all things which we are talking about in the command modes. We can perform these everything in the command mode. And in the command mode, we can also search the thing. Search. Search. How we will search it? Slash. Slash. And search for partisan. See? It will show you partisan. Slash, I will search time, enter. I'm going to press slash, call root, enter. Password, enter. Right? So, to search something, to search something, I can use slash and then keyword. Keyword. So this is what we can do in the command mode. Insert mode will be used to modify, edit something, right? And command mode can be used to delete, copy, navigation, up and down, undo, redo, searching. These all things can be done on the command. This will be work in initiated mode or uh, exit mode? Uh, command mode, Keetan. Insert mode, mm -hmm. in the insert mode, yeah. In the insert mode, we will only able to modify the things. In the command mode, we will able to perform it. Right? So that is what the insert mode, insert mode, and command mode. Now, another mode we have, that is called EX mode. EX mode. So it is called Y. Shift plus G. That is to copy the whole file, right? Whole file. Hmm. So, this means I am not sir. This is what I am Line number twenty-two. Yes, I am going to write. To copy the whole content of file. Go at top of file, and then. Okay. okay, sir. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. EX mode. It is ex means full form of EX is execute mode. EX is execute mode. Right. Now, why it is called execute mode? Because we it help us to execute some of the commands on this Vim editor, inside this Vim editor. Okay. First of all, if you want to set the line numbers, right, in this file, means right now you can see I am on the 13th number of line, right? I will navigate it and this line number keep changing. But temporarily, if you want to set the line numbers in file, then we need to go into EX mode. How you will go to EX mode? We will move into EX mode with shift colon. Shift column, right? So I will press shift, shift and column. This is what now I am in the execute mode, EX mode. This is called EX mode, right? So here I can write set number, set number. What it will do? See, it temporarily set the line number inside the files. 
Now it will be easy to understand where I am huh? in 61 number of line or 72, 76, 82, 91, 100, right? I can see all this. Right. If I will set set a space, no number, no number, it will remove the lines. Okay. Or if you come back, uh, come out from this file again, the number will be automatically removed because it temporarily is set. So let me write it down. So I can write set number to set number of lines. Huh? Number of lines. Again, to remove this, to remove line numbers, what I can do? Set no number. Right. In the sort, in the sort, what we can, what we can write there? Set an O for setting number. Sorry, set an U. SC, SC plus N U, SC N U. In the sort, set number SC and N U. Right. And to re remove this N O, no N U. Right. It will remove the line numbers. So let me set it line numbers. We will use those numbers. Okay. Now, this is what the line number we have defined in our file. Now, let's suppose I want to navigate to uh, 35th line of this file. One way is I can scroll the mouse and will keep scrolling, keep scrolling, and I will be on 35th number of line. Right? That is one way. Another way is what? I can go to execute mode, shift colon. And then press the line number 35 and press enter. See, I directly come on to the 35th number of line. Right. So that is also means this is another use of your execute mode to navigate to line number. Right. Colon and the line number 35 or 36, whatever we can. Even now another is thing. Now let's suppose you want to copy. Uh, a, a 10 line started from 15 to 15 to uh, 24, right? This is what 10 lines you want to copy. What you will do? You will scroll your mouse, oh, sorry, cursor to the 15th line. Then you will press 10 YY, right? That is what we learned few minutes back, correct? Uh, will be uh, will be on 15th line and press 10 YY, 10 line Yang. That is how you will copy in command mode. But when you will go to the execute mode, you can press 15, comma, 24, and Y, and press enter. Simple. Let me write it in this one. 15 plus, uh, 15 plus 24Y, and press enter. See what it will say. 10 line has been yanked. To copy 10 line, I can use 15, comma, 24, and Y. Sir, can you please repeat it once again? Please? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> now, let's suppose I want to copy the line number 30, 30 to 40. So, I'll press colon 30, comma, 40, Y, and press enter. So, it's saying 11 line yeah, has been yanked. Your cursor is in 12 line. That's totally fine. But it copied line number 30 to 40. And when you will go to 30th line, so where, what is the 30th line? 30 line is blank. 31 is used here. So if I will paste somewhere, so it will give me the same output. See? See? So to copy a number of, uh, number of lines, you need to press execute, go to the execute mode and use the line number 56, 78, Y, Y, sorry, Y and press enter. Means it will copy the line from 56 till 78. Okay. Okay, same thing you can do for delete as well. Means I will press 40, comma, 30, D. It will delete them. It will delete the things. It will delete the line number 30 to 40. Right? Same thing to, de to delete. You just need to replace your, uh, just, just to replace Y with D. That's it. It will replace the, delete the file there.
okay so copy delete and 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 and, and okay one more thing uh, means i'm just discussing the general operations which we are doing in the notepad right in windows notepad notepad plus plus or uh, I mean, uh, like word so the the general the general operations right copy move paste and all these things if you want to search and replace search and replace right for search, we need to be in command mode, right? And press slash to search. But if you want to search and replace, search and replace, then how you will do? You need to come into the execute mode, first of all, colon. Now search, search from where? For all the file or any specific line? So for from all the content of the file, you need to use percent, percent, slash, slash then word old word which you want to search so let's say i will write it part i want to search part and then slash and use the replace word means by which word you want to replace it so we'll say deeper so i want to replace that part word from deeper word and slash g okay what is this g g means what it will actually call as means it will replace the part word of all lines and all occurrence means g for all occurrence all occurrence means if i will not write g there so if any line has part word multiple times so with this command it will replace only first occurrence right okay let me show you if you did not understand this point what i'm saying so let's suppose i am here right in the part and what I'm going to do, I'm going to write P-A-R-T part, P-A-R-T part, P-A-R-T part, multiple part in one line. Okay. Now, if I press colon and press percent as part and Deepak, right, and press enter. So what it will do? It will search and replace. It will search and replace. Here it because only one part was there, so it replaced part with a deeper. But when you scroll it down, scroll or scroll it up, scroll it up, scroll it up, see it replaced the part with deeper of the first occurrence, first occurrence, not the all occurrence, right? Here is still the part word is written. That's why I told you means this G for all occurrence, all occurrence. Now, if I will press enter there, so it will replace all the part with all occurrence uh, with deeper word. So it has been now replaced. Okay. So let me copy it to copy it to line five and let me copy it to your notepad to search and and replace so old word and we'll say it as a new word this one, right so here you can replace with using person in a specific line number now let's suppose i want to replace this repo from 10th number of line so what i can do Percent means whole file, right? So I will use 10, right? As for search, then slash, then type the old word. What is the old word? Old word is repo. Slash and replace it with the like new word. Say repo2 slash g. g again for the global occurrence means all occurrence. And we'll press enter so it will only replace this repo in 10th line, right? So that is for your specific line number if you want to replace, so you can do this. To search and replace in a specific line, right? Not only a specific line, you can also use this in range of line, in range, R-A-N-G, range, right? What I can do, I can do percent, then uh, I can use 30, 41 as, then 
than any word. Maybe I like let's suppose I will I try to write Deepak. Is it there in 41? Yes, it is in there 41. And again, I want to change at the part G. Right. So now I am I want to search and replace this part, sorry, Deepak and replace with the part word. So that is what you can do in the range of line. Right. In 42 is still there Deepak, but in the rest of the line it has been changed. Right, so that is what you can do, search and replace with the help of in the Vim editor. And if you want to save the file in the execute mode, you need to press WQ, WQ, right and quit. To save, what we can do, WQ. Or we can also use small x, small x, right? These two things can be used to write and quit. If you do not want to Save, you can press Q button. You can press Q button to quit. Right? Q button. But to quit without save, without save, we need to use Q exclamation. Now, there's a difference between quit and quit without save. See, if I use Q here and try to come out, Q and enter, enter, it not allow me to come out. Why? Quit without save means you made some modification, but you do not want to save those files and you want to quit without save. Then, then at that point of time, we need to forcefully quit. Exclamation for forcefully quit. If you just open a file and you want to come out from the file, that Q will work there. But as I open this file, make modifications in this file, and I want to come back without saving this, so it will not allow me to do that. I need to use Q and exclamation, exclamation. Then, then I come back to there. Right? So everything has been, means nothing has been saved in this file. Right? Now let's suppose if I make some modifications and I want to come back, means right, save and quit. So again, we need to use WQ. Or I can use X there and X to save it. Right? In some point of time, we need to to forcefully save, to forcefully save, we can have WQ exclamation. Means we, we encountered with some of the system file where it will not allow us to write, right? Uh, then in that case, we may need WQ exclamation, forcefully save. We'll see that those files get around. Like we have sudo file, password file. So at that point of time, we need to use exclamation mark. But to quit without save, exclamation is mandatory. Right? So that is how you can operate your files with the help of Vim, Vim Editor. One last thing is how to protect your file in Vim Editor. This colon and capital X. Capital X. Capital X to enter the password. Press enter. It will ask you to give the password. Any password, I'm going to 1234. Press enter. 1234. Press enter and save it and come out. Now, if anybody, anyone want to open this file, it will prompt for the password. Right? One, two, three, four. Right? Remember one thing, we cannot break it's this password. You only, uh, the only one option, uh, like uh, if you know the older password, then only we'll be able to, able to open this file. Otherwise, you need to delete this file. So, we need to make sure like its password will be stored in some vault, some secret in form, some secure uh, location where from where this password should not be forgotten, right? Again, if you want to remove the password, again, use the capital X, press enter, press enter, enter. Yes, do not give any password. It will set the blank password. Done. Okay, so I can write there to set password, colon capital X and and give the password and then save the file to remove the password and give blank password and then save the file right Okay. 
now i'm going to copy this whole thing in your chat right and it's your time now i'm giving you uh, like another 10 minute to give all these operations in your vim editor and whatever you do not understand on anywhere if you're stuck let me know we'll discuss that point okay and in between if you have any doubt uh, you can ask me during that practice time so let me paste it in your chat yes so i pasted in your chat and okay same thing you can you can copy this file from slash root to opt folder with any name with any name and try to perform all these operations in your web editor okay do it sir i have a question yeah please go ahead so basically where do we find exactly the file here i mean if i, I was i'm trying from my local uh, system Mm -hmm. And I was not able to file uh, find this file. So where exactly is this file situated? In slash root. There is a slash folder. And inside mm -hmm. this slash folder, there is a root folder. Okay. okay. Hello, Pravanjan. How are you? How are you? Sorry, password uh, small x or okay, capital X? A small x to save the file and capital X for password. एडिटर सर कोई भी ले सकते हैं। I would recommend you to go with Vim Editor. Mostly we will use the Vim Editor in our course and later on as well. So go with the Vim Editor. Sir, password setting you will tell you. Okay, okay. For password, we need to use capital X. Capital, capital X, press enter. Type your password. Enter. Again, type your password. Enter. And save the file. WQ. And once you will again op try to open this file, it will ask you the password.